evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever, wherever you are. My name is Andrew Grossett and welcome to another edition of Rise and Grind. Now, when I was at school, this is taking a bit of a trip down memory lane for me, there were two comments that the teachers used and spoke to my parent, my mother about and myself about regularly. One was Andrew Smart but easily distracted. The other one was he seems to have selective hearing. And this was something that went on and on through my primary school, through my secondary school. And the reason why they put, they put that on me was because despite I had a tendency of, despite the fact that someone telling me one thing, I would find a way to do what I wanted to do anyway. And then claim that I just didn't hear you say that that was not a good idea or don't do that or that's not advisable. Now, when I was at school, that, that was, it was something that was seen as a bit of a negative. However, coming through to adulthood, it's now something that I wholeheartedly hold on to as a skill. Especially when I've had to remember it after something's gone, gone wrong and I'd forgotten it. You see, the world and his uncle has an opinion and the world and his uncle are right in their own right as far as they are concerned and they will spend their life last penny last breath last piece of effort convincing you that their version of events or their version of the truth is the truth and sometimes the truth that they're talking about is you. There are people out there that will sit there and will tell you that you can't do things. There are people out there that will sit there and tell you that you are absolutely crap at things. There are people that will sit down there despite the fact that really what they're doing is talking about themselves will spend hours upon hours stripping your character down, stripping you down, telling anybody that will listen how bad a person you are, how negative an influence you are and how much you need to not be in the surrounding picture or not be part of what you're, going, you're, you're about to do, what you're doing or that what you're, do, what you're about to do is a bad idea. In those circumstances here, I cannot stress to you enough, selective hearing is a plus. You've got to block them out. Because these individuals have no right, no realm, or no reason for being in your life, other than to teach you it's time you cut out some, hacked out some dead wood and let off some of the rats off your ship. The truth of the matter is, the saying is, as, as, Fluffy as it might be, the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you like. The truth of the matter is, it's the truth. You can. Whatever you set your mind to, you can create. Whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve. Whatever you set your mind to, you can overcome. As long as there is breath in your lungs and you have ability in front of you or opportunity in front of you, you can twist and turn your life around in a heartbeat. So these people that have got you all wrapped up are talking as if your life is over. These people that have got you all tied up with a bow on top and said, you know what this guy is like? That have removed your opportunity for choice. They have removed your opportunity for chance. They've removed your opportunity for evolution. How can someone do that? The truth of the matter is, they can't. These people's words are people's words of opinion. They only become fact when you believe them. And this is why I say wholeheartedly, and it's a lesson for today, selective hearing is a plus. You don't have to listen to a blind bitter word that these people say. You don't have to take it on board, you don't have to memorize it, you don't have to practice it, you don't have to preach it, you don't have to take it on, you don't have to take it home, you don't have to go sleep and dream about it, you don't have to overthink it, you don't have to do nothing. You can leave that opinion right where it stands. Because I'll tell you something for nothing, those people there, they, they, they will have you believe in a madness. They will have you believing that you're a madness. They'll have you sitting down there believing that you know what, you're worthless and you know for, they're wrong. 
And the bit, the fact that they're wrong is the bit that you need to believe in. The fact that they can't possibly have you all summed up because your game's not done yet is what you need to believe in. Your past does not have to dictate your future. So yeah, you know what? You may have made a few mistakes in your past. You may have done a few things in, in error in the past. You may not have reacted as you supposed to or supposed to have done, should have done or could possibly have done in the past. But that past version of you is the past. It's not the version of you that stood here now. It's not the version of you that we stood here in five minutes time. It's not the version of you that's going to be stood over there in 10 minutes time. So how can that version which is obsolete be that version which is yet to occur? The only person that can transfer that bit of negativity from there to here, here, or worse still over there is you. Leave the negative in the past. Take the lesson. I'm going to say it again. Leave the negative in the past, but take the lesson. Leave the baggage in the past, but take the solution. When we go through things, and we talked about this week on week on week out, and I will continue to do, th do so. When we go through things in life that are painful, they are lessons in disguise. What you need to do in order to prevent the lesson from reoccurring is to show the tutor, i.e. life, that you have got the lesson and understand the answer. And are able to recite it back so that through the next situation that occurs by not reacting the way in which you did in that one by using the knowledge you've learned, you've learned. By not doing what you did as a result of the last one, but using the knowledge that you've learned. Then history cannot repeat itself. These people cannot repeat themselves in your life. And the more times you overcome these things, the more times you step forward and go, you know what, I'm a different person now. Do you have any idea how empowering that feeling is? Have any idea how, how much knowing that is going to do for you? And, just, and therefore, stop this sort of situation that you are coming from now that seems very, very, very fresh from repeating itself again and again and again in your future. You have the world ahead of you at your feet. You have opportunities upon opportunities stacked behind a door of potential. All you've got to do is use the lessons that you have learned that will help you work out which key it is that opens that door of potential to lead you through to opportunity. Thank you very much for watching. This is another episode of Rads and Grand, all wrapped up with a bow on top and done. My name is Andrew Grossett. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, the world's your oyster. In the meantime, stay strong, and as always,